This week, we're testing your ability to use finesse. Finesse and tattooing means being able to delicately deal with a client and apply an intricate, smooth tattoo under pressure. Today, you must create Victorian tattoos. What? During the Victorian era, the invention of sewing machines and new machinery for making lace made it possible to create complex patterns at a fraction of the cost of handmade. Tattoos emulating these patterns and fabrics have grown in popularity. You must translate these intricate styles to skin. Lots of lace, jewelry, with filigree, fine line work. I'm really nervous about this one. But there's more. More. Which is? There is no better test of your finesse than tattooing some of the most delicate skin on the body. The throat. Oh, Jesus. Throat tats. Throat. I know exactly what that feels like. It hurts like a mother. It's hard to breathe while they're doing it. It feels like getting cut with a scalpel the entire time. Today, finesse is important because you're tattooing a very sensitive area. Throat tattoos equal pain. So it'll be like that. You want to get in, you want to get out, you want to do the least amount of trauma possible. If you screw up, this person's going to wear a turtleneck for life. I finally got through to my canvas and convinced her into 86ing this hourglass idea. Doing a straight line on a throat is a next to near impossible feat, so I'm just going to reference a nice fancy bird cage and surround it with some nice pretty filigree. I'm okay with that. Awesome. You've got to keep it simple. To put this on in pieces, it's just not gonna go on all at once. This is super stressful. If this design's off just by a hair, it's gonna be totally obvious. Hang your head off the table. And let me see if I can get the area a little flatter for me. I'm willing to spend extra time in the placement just to make sure it's perfect. Lean forward like this real quick. It's just not lined up with your chest. If I pull this thing off perfect, I'm so gonna have the win. Tyler. Overall, the design is strong, man. The black is definitely Victorian, and it also works great on this guy's throat because it might not be the most masculine imagery, but now you toughen it up with all that black. What you did here is you took an asymmetrical subject, which is the harp, and you figured out a way to put this on this guy's throat in a symmetrical way with your filigree and your design work here. I think it's very cool. Cruzman. I really love this. I love that it's so simple and clean and readable. You have really nice soft shading here in this birdcage. Your tattoo looks deliberate. It's one pass, one shot, in and out. This is what you want to do. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Duffy. Just the outline alone is a great example of finesse. All these curves, very smooth, all have a very natural flow. All your little circles around the heart look very concentric. It's pretty great. Great, perfect. Why are you crying? It's just a good feeling. Come on, lady. This is what it's all about, right? Like, this is why you came. They're definitely happy tears. I needed it. Beautiful tattoo. Thanks. Time to pull the judges. Who's got the best tattoo of the day? Duffy took this one, as far as I'm concerned. A great design, a great fit to the skin, great application. It's perfect, smooth, beautiful, and on top of everything, it's the largest amount of work. Anybody that you're up against can't deny your win. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Duffy. Today, you must tattoo a very challenging part of the body the back of the neck. Oh, shit. The back of the neck is a super hard place to tattoo. Color saturation is an issue because it swells up. It's a real sensitive area. It could bleed all over the place. There's so many things that could go wrong. You guys all have a very strong skill set for putting in outlines, for shading, for color. So today, a big part of this is going to be how interesting or how perfect this drawing lays out, because I expect all of you to kill it in application. Color palette, dynamics, drawings, those are gonna be the things that's gonna push one person in and one person out. I'm so glad you gave me that. That's literally all I did for like the first three years of my career, is mandalas on the neck. So like, <laughs> what are the chances? Like, specifically on the back of the neck. Happy I could accommodate. <laughs>
<laughs> I was like, oh, Han, going through again. Laura is so full of shit. I think she just gets nervous to show any weakness, so she's trying to sell me on the fact that she really wanted this design. Did you hear uh, Laura, like, being like, oh, I, that's what I wanted? I think she's trying to psych me out, like, you know, like, make it seem like I, I did something wrong. I think it was smarter to give that to Laura than save her for Cam. I feel like if I would have gave that to Cam, that he would have shot himself in the foot. It might not have been such a bad thing. True. so far. Dude, it doesn't look anything like a mandala, that's for sure. For the first three years of my tattooing career, I did nothing but mandalas. I will not let myself fail at this. We're black and gray. What are you doing? Oh my god. Get the out of here. <laughs> I'm just jealous that my black and gray is better than yours. <laughs> oh my god, are you trying to make me throw up? If I actually pull this off, he's going to be so threatened. It's all right, I can tattoo better than these boys even with heels on. Women's team, you're next. Laura. It's really beautiful. It's really delicate. It's really clean. I didn't want to do any fine line detail on a neck, so I recommended doing some sort of flower. Great move. The rich, rich blacks are what really make this thing stand strong. Overall, you get a really nice, rich look. Thank you. That's good. All right, judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Han Snake, I'd go on the arm. You look at Laura's tattoo, where's that tattoo gonna go? It's going there. All those lines that Laura did so spot on and on the money, everything lines up. Laura for the win. <gasps> the judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Laura. Thank you. The three finalists have been tattooing live for the last six and a half hours in the style that you assigned America, and they have about 30 minutes left to finish their tattoos. Let's give it up for your finalists. From Team Pet, Ryan Ashley. How are you? All right, so Ryan, America assigned you fine line black and gray, which yes. is your specialty. Yes. You gotta be happy about that. I am thrilled. I mean, I have a very specific style and didn't have the opportunity to show it while filming. And, you know, today's the day. Now I get to show everything that I can. So you didn't really get to do your style, yet you made it to the finale. Yes. That's pretty, that's pretty heavy. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Time is almost up on those live tattoos. So you've all seen me do this before. Do it with me now. Time to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up and she's down. No more ink. That is it. Let's go to Ryan. Ryan, come on up. Hey Ryan, you were assigned fine line black and gray, which is your specialty. Let's check out the judges. Well, Ryan, I wish the picture on the screen was a little bit out of focus because it is so much detail and so much line work. The fact that you were, the fact that you were able to put that much into it in this amount of time was a, a pretty big risk, but it came out super smooth. It really shows your own style. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm happy that you got to do something to really show off and let us see what you do. Um, you've done great tattoos all season. This is another one that lines you right up in that category. You've had a great outing. The question is fine line black and gray. There's a lot of bold lines in there. And I just feel like you stepped a little bit out of what was asked. But again, an amazing tattoo. Just the word fine line comes to mind. All right, Ryan, thank you. Step back. America has decided. The first spot in the top two goes to Ryan Ashley. Tattoo 
tattoo, you'll have six hours to create a Celtic tattoo. What? What the f Celtic? The last time I did a Celtic design was once upon a very long time ago that I do not remember. The origins of Celtic tattoos date back thousands of years. Celtic tattoos are some of the most labor-intensive tattoos. The lines need to be parallel. It needs to go over and under. It's supposed to look like it's an intricately woven design. Celtic is the epitome of line work for the simple fact that all the lines have to be parallel, perfectly straight on both sides, same line weight, same thickness. It's a style that all proficient tattooers should be able to do. My canvas, she wants a Celtic starfish on her side. It's really, really nice and fits you really well. I like it a lot. I'm gonna focus on making sure that all my lines are absolutely perfect. How are you doing here, Mr. Quiet Machines? My back hurts. Uh -huh. I ran like a thousand lines. Right. <laughs> That's about my day. Dude, maybe you should go and finish your tattoo. Looks wonderful. What a sweetheart. I'm doing a realistic elephant at the top and go into a Celtic design at the bottom. Potentially, I can be the new Ink Master. I totally feel I can win it, almost somewhat destiny. It's not gonna be an easy cakewalk either. Definitely gonna have to fight for it. Hopefully one of these days I'm gonna get to try to show off like you. <laughs> Craig's tattoo, it's just a painterly style tattoo with some Celtic in it, which I would have loved to do, but I felt like this was a line work challenge. Today, we asked you to show us clean lines in a Celtic tattoo. Joey. Let's start with you. This is a great job, man. This is one hell of an outline. It's all very straight. It's very perfect. Nice parallel look. I think the fact that you pack the color in this thing so solid makes this Celtic really stand apart. Super technical tattoo, man. This is great. Craig. Detail on the elephant alone is really incredible. The Celtic with the three hearts, the way that thing comes together and goes into the rest of the tribal and the color separates that link, I really like that. When you first came in, I didn't expect to see these varying styles. It's impressive. You're definitely the guy to watch at this point. Joshua? I have one big problem with this tattoo. Okay. It wasn't the first one of the day so that I could reference your tattoo with everybody else's. Big problem. This is a perfect goddamn outline. It's consistently the same width all the way throughout the tattoo. It's very clean on one of the hardest surfaces. You're very meticulous on every crossing of the lines here, all the way down to the center where it gets really intense. There was a statement made by Jimmy that I can't draw. I drew this goddamn thing, so. Good for you. Thank you. Even better. Joshua, Joey, your tattoos were the two best of the day. Joshua, I think you did a really good job. The customer asked you for something really tricky, and you pulled it off. Very impressive. Thank you. Joey, the fact that yours had so much Celtic and a lot of detail and still kept tight line work in it, good job. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Joshua. Congratulations, Josh. You gave the challenge exactly what it was that we were looking for. A straight, clean, one-pass outline, and you nailed it. Good job, man. Thank you. This tattoo is style that is all about repeating patterns. So any inconsistency will stand out. Geometric tattoos. A geometric tattoo has perfectly straight lines, perfect angles, perfect points. It's a perfect nightmare. Geometric tattoos feature bold shapes and linear designs that flow with the body. Any tiny error could destroy your piece. My canvas wants concentric triangles, and he wants a lot of them. I like that. And then we'll just kind of continue to keep adding. Okay. This is a lot of tattoo in a short amount of time. All right, kiddo, are you ready for your first poke? Yes, sir. This week, you had a true test of consistency. A geometric tattoo. Scott, let's start with you. This is a very cool design, man. The shading that gives this thing depth, it's very consistent throughout the whole tattoo. This is a great tattoo. You didn't go on overkill. You didn't do any needless background. I pumped the brakes, like, you know. Yeah, man. Sometimes it's about pumping brakes. Kick-ass tattoo. Appreciate it. Mm. Sausage. 
I really like the design of it. It fits really good on the body. I like the cutouts. The line work looks great overall. I think you nailed it. You set the bar for a lot of the people to have to live up to in here as far as line work goes because overall it's a very clean tattoo. Melissa. This is a very cool design. A lot of small, intricate details inside each circle, which I think is very nice. The problem is those long lines that aren't super crisp and straight. You have to go in and own the line and get out. If you're not good at doing this, this is not the business for you. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined the winner. Sausage and Scott. You both did impressive work today. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Congratulations, Sausage. Sausage, from concept to layout to execution, all around, very nice job. Thank you guys very, very much. You must create a schematic tattoo. A what? What is that? What the f is a schematic tattoo? Does this look like a guy that went to college? I don't even know what that means. I've done it before. A schematic is just basically breaking an object down into its parts. It's like a blueprint. Shit. When I think of the word schematic, I think of a diagram. Make sure what fits together and how it assembles is true to the way that it would fit together. That's the test here. It will be a lot of line work, and it needs to stay legible. It needs to look like what it's supposed to look like. I still don't understand. Ooh, that's a cool piece. Thank you. When I saw everybody else, I was like, oh, I could have done this a lot easier. Damn it. That's not who I am. <laughs> I've been obsessed with robots since I was a kid, and I do a lot of biomechanical that involves a lot of robotic structures and stuff. This is a total shoe in for me. Almost there with the lines. Like some dots and stuff left. Oh, son of a bitch. Every three dots I do blow out. Every other line I do blows out. I don't understand what's going on. Am I sitting okay for you in the issues? Oh yeah, you're sitting great. Yeah. It's just like I'm a perfectionist. This is a disaster. I am scared shitless right now. Today, you are being tested on legibility with schematic tattoos. Let's see how you did. Hiram. Hello, guys. You're crazy doing all these little lines everywhere. This is one hell of a swing. I know this guitar, I have this guitar, and it looks like that. This is a badass tattoo, man. Thank you. Good job, Good job man. Thank you. Bob. This is the best drawing of the day, man. I love all the pieces coming apart and going different directions and showing different angles, but I lost count of blowouts on this thing, like 40-something. I felt like I just had no control over it blowing out or not. I could go like less than a millimeter in touching the skin and it would just blow out immediately. Blown out or not, I would wear that thing. It's badass. Today, you must create cross-stitch tattoos. Mother I don't know what cross stitch is. The, the little round frames you see in your grandmother's bathroom, it says yeah, dumbass shit seen... in it. With intricate patterns and hundreds of tiny, repetitive lines, consistency is crucial to make your design look like it's sewn into your canvas's skin. Wait, what? I love sewing other people's skin, so that's not a problem. I have two tiny tattoos, but I literally just don't feel any, like anything at all. <laughs> Well, if they were trying to get me, complete backfire. Flowers worked in my favor because when you see something cross stitch on like a pillow or something, it's a flower. So I think it looks like your grandma's actual cross stitch piece. Yours definitely looks very cross stitchy. It does? Yeah. You met the challenge, bitch. I just, that's what I want to do. You yeah. Know? Just do what I'm told. The more tattoos we do and the more chances I get to show things that nobody has seen me do, it's starting to hit people that I might be a decent threat in this competition. I'm slowly learning that cross stitch is not my style. So, crossed off. This is gonna be a super badass tattoo. Like, I obviously, I really like realistic stuff. And it's gonna be sick, so. <laughs> it's not really necessary to have the entire thing be made out of these tiny little X's, and I think a lot of people are missing that. Ooh, that's cool. It's so much bigger than I thought you were going to be able to do. Work smarter, not harder. I just want to give myself the opportunity to really shine and prove that I belong at the top. There's more to this than the game, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is going to be a super badass tattoo. Today, you had to prove your consistency by creating a cross-stitch tattoo. Lindsay, you had the advantage. Let's start with you. Cam. 
You're up first. The eye itself is very nice. That soft gray that comes out and radiates out into the hand and to the pattern is beautiful. Oh, this line work, very consistent. You have so many lines in here that are really close to parallel. They all start and stop really precisely. It really reads like thread work. Thank you. Don't hate. I'm not hating. It's a beautiful piece. Janelle. This is a perfect blend between the cross stitch style and bringing a real image into play. I love the fact that the left side of this anchors in with those darker colors and you come into this smoother, softer face. You were smart on this and you did a good job. I'm happy for you. Danny. I'm gonna tell you that I hate this tattoo because people are gonna want this shit. <laughs> this is a really solid applied tattoo. Less is more. The color is actually applied consistently from the beginning of the line to the end. You did a great job on this tattoo. Thank you. Well, let's settle this. Danny, you did exactly what we asked for, and for that reason, my vote's for you. Yes. If you're really gonna look at consistency, it's definitely Cam's. No brainer. Cam for the win. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Cam.